Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Good Times for All, or Zachary Zabala if you prefer. In this video I will show you how I can bend flat railroad tracks to look just like the towers over Lake Pontchartrain. I was just driving over some railroad tracks and saw some weird distortion in it, so I decided to take a few pictures, jumped out of my truck, and I caught some crazy stuff. I'm not sure how this all works, I believe it has to do with the aperture and the depth of field but I'm not 100%. I don't believe it has to do with atmospherics. After I looked at the pictures closer and noticed all that stuff, I went back again and I took them with GPS, time, and date stamped. Um, I also took a few pictures that were not zoomed in, which, as you can see, makes the tracks look flat. They, and they're railroad tracks, so we know they're flat. These are in use very frequently. Um, and then when you start zooming in, you can get the tracks to start doing crazy stuff. Um, I believe it has something to do with the angles and the, uh, height. But it's just weird, and it only happens when it's zoomed in. I'd go down and near the ground and then stand up, unzoomed. And then I would uh, start zooming in on stuff and start getting cr all kinds of crazy stuff. Tracks bending sideways, going up into the air, all kinds of weird stuff. Not so much straight dead on, but when you get to the side angles like this, you start really seeing some distorted images. And I believe it is an optical illusion that we're seeing more than atmospheric. I believe I've said, look at those tracks. Jumping up into the sky. Looking like they're going into nothing. This one here, you get, that's neat bleeding. Tracks that bend and then go back to the straight point. And now I tried it at another set of train tracks with a little bit of a bend in it, kind of, almost, further down. It's really hard to see unless you're zoomed in to see what kind of things I got there. And it's actually bending to the left, but on this side, it still looks like it's curving to the right. But the, and these aren't in use as much. There's a lot of railroad tracks around here where I live that aren't in use at all. These are used for an old um, train museum. They run old trains, old locomotives and stuff up and down them and take people on little jaunts. But yeah, as you can see again, you get weird curves and bends, and these aren't as well taken care of. They're much older, but as you can see when I zoom out, they're still flat. I mean, you can't have railroad tracks having big arcs in them. And I believe it's just optics. Like I said, I don't believe it has as much to do with atmospherics as it does optics. So I don't know, everybody... Um. I'd like to see a couple more people go out and try this to verify what I am showing here. That'd be great. And uh, we can see if this is what's really doing it. So this is Good Times for All signing out. As always, thanks for watching.